and we say you were to automatic and But this time we are automatic the different kinds of automatic. I was instantly and the That type say uh, Kurura. Kurura na Nizan Amera numune Kia Kia Vetra numune Niamaniama. So the cars, the different cars, they be more more now than the original automatic cars. Oh, and now you have to wait as new doors. When they say Ghana for you, just wait and then design it. Then, at my friend, he just care, care. You know, so I then, so at home. So, they say anything about more so no I then about system. Oh, where Opel, Nissan, and Lexus, Benz, and then other cars, BMW, ni Infiniti, ni mo na diyan. Uh, very very good, but it looks very sharp also. For automatic cars, we have uh, Toyota, we have Benz, we have Passat. We are the VW family. They have we have cars with the automatic, and then the manual also the same. Oh, I don't really know that much, but I know the Hyundai car which is automatic. Yeah, and some kind of Toyota cars, uh, the four-wheel type. Uh, the one with the back, like the long back, which is also uh, an automatic car. Yeah. Oh, the difference is very huge. For that one there, you can see it yourself. With the manual cars, you have to, it's like some kind of locomotive. But with the automatic, immediately you put it at drive, wherever you're going, till you stop. And you want to change your mind and do whatever you want to do, that's why. The, the, for the difference there, it's very huge. You can see it yourself. And you are even more relaxed with the automatic more than the manual. But almost all those locomotive cars, those manual cars, they are now being changed into automatic for, for, for easy purposes and those cars. You know, by there's even this latest X5, the X6 is now the latest, the X5 at the its modern. So many cars. You know, these Korean cars too, they are now changing their models and those stuff with these flashy flash ones and they are going for the automatic ones. Welcome back from that break. Hey everybody. Ghanaians have ideas so anyway as I said before we went for that break we're gonna talk about the types. But hey let me tell you what I know about types of automatic cars. I know we have Easytronic, I know we have Tektronic and I know we have Geotronic. Hey that's all I know. That is why we're gonna talk to the expert. Ibrahim, the only fitter with a degree in Ghana. Oh, no, people. people think actually when we talk about fitters, these dirty people, but hey, this is the man I'm talking about with a degree, and he is going to tell us more about types of transmission cars. Stay tuned. There are different types of transmission. I mean, there are different speed of transmission and different types of transmission. Now, the speed are 4 speed, 5 speed, 6 speed, 7 speed, and the latest one from 2011 is 8 speed from ZF. Now, there are also types of transmission. We have the CVT transmission, the DAG transmission, and then the normal multi clutch transmission. Now, there's also, uh, and all these have their own different applications when it comes to electronic application we have a transmission which has a separate tcm from the engine control unit which we call tcm tcm means transmission control module we also have a pcm which is power control module meaning the transmission computer and the engine computer are integrated we also have the Megatronic, which is part of the hydraulic valve body and it's always immersed in the transmission fluid. Now, they all have their own advantages and disadvantages. When you look at Chrysler in particular, it's so unique in that Chrysler is the only transmission that has what we call CVI. CVI means uh, clutch volume index. That means as where it takes place in the transmission, Every farming uh, clutch pack has a clearance, and as where it takes place, this clearance would increase. Now, Clasper has a, a, a particular system where it's able to identify 
the difference in the clearance and is able to compensate for that clearance so there wouldn't be anything like clutch failure in other transmission to have especially in the six speed there are less parts in the six speed transmission while there are more parts in the five and the four speed i will explain now six speed transmission has less parts than the four and five speed transmissions now the C speed has less parts because one particular clutch is used three times. For example, in the transmission called O9D, which we found in uh, O9D, which we find in Q7, Touareg, and then Porsche Cayenne specifically, there is the third clutch and the fifth clutch and the reverse clutch are one particular cylinder. That particular cylinder is for third fifth and then reverse so when that clutch fails that means three gears will fail and this is why there, there are less parts in the transmission of every six-speed tr uh, transmission whereas the five-speed has independent reverse gear each gear is for one particular gear and the disadvantage of the PCM is that when there's a problem with the transmission control unit you have no choice but to buy together with the engine because it's PCM it's power control module it's not TCM T TCM you can buy the TCM separately because it is not immense in the oil it does not attach the, uh, 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 the uh, engine it's, uh, it's always separate so it depends on the uh, manufacturer but these days I can see that uh, most C-speed and um, five seven speed transmission are all using the megatron which is immense in the oil that means if water goes into the tr tr transmission you are not only going to replace the but also replace the computer as well although the advantage of this type of design is that it's more efficient and it's able to detect little each and every malfunction in the transmission and it's able also to respond to the acceleration very effectively.